All right, well, with the exciting return of Major League Baseball came the caveat of no fans allowed inside the stadiums to watch. Kind of takes some of the fun out of the atmosphere. Major League Baseball agreed, but they thought, if we can't have fans in the stands, what about virtual fans filling the seats for games on the Fox network? Well, the virtual fans and accompanied audio tracks pumped in make the TV game seem, well, if not a lot more normal, then at least a little more normal. And that Major League innovation, Joe Paris tells us, is powered by a team right here in Boise. And this isn't their first time making it to the show. Everybody came together to really meet a tight timeline, so it was, it was, all, it was all pretty fast. Creating the virtual fans featured during Major League Baseball games on Fox was no easy task. The whole thing really, I'd say it was about two weeks, two, three weeks, and we, we worked pretty much 24-7 to, to make it happen. Amy Guile is co-founder and CEO of Silver Draft Supercomputing, based right here in Boise, Idaho. They powered the virtual fans on Fox alongside partners like Silver Spoon Animation and NVIDIA Graphics. This is what Wrigley Field looks like in the current state. It's social distancing, no fans. Oh, look at this! Just like that. A fan experience is you're in it. You're believing it. You're, you, you've forgotten about it. Your focus is the game and kind of that energy feel that, you know, a crowd gives to, to that viewing experience. Silver Draft is no stranger to high-level projects. It's what their team here in Boise focuses on. So if somebody's sitting at a control panel, you know, if there's a home run, you hit cheer and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> well, I can't give away too much, but uh, it's okay. A little bit like that. We are a full solutions technology company, so we really support our clients by coming in and looking at the full workflow needed behind virtual reality, augmented reality, um, artificial intelligence. So when Major League Baseball and Fox Sports came knocking, the team was ready to roll. Crowd simulation, or what we would call virtual, virtual fans. Um, uh, completely doable with the technology that we have, uh, very similar to what we did with Madonna for the Billboard Awards. While many fans were left impressed with the virtual fan broadcast, Guile says this is only the tip of the iceberg of what they can do. You could dial down to where it's a, you know, a more uh, realistic looking, what we call digital human, where, you know, He's drinking a Coke or soda or eating a hot dog. The collaborative technology can also help get fans back into the stadiums down the line. One example. How do we simulate, you know, the, the flow of fans into a stadium How do, so that they can do it safely? How can, so we can run studies and value that um, to help be able to get fans back. For now, though, the technology will provide a fuller atmosphere for baseball fans around the world. We can use this technology to help lift people up and make them feel some sense of normalcy. Guile knows not all fans were impressed, but she says there is more to come. Keep watching. You'll, you'll see it just evolve and get better and better over you know over the season and across other other sports as well they're sti they're sticking around and i hope you start seeing a lot more of them like what you're used to okay joe so i see there's more than just fun to this i mean because they're using it as you said for modeling to see how people move in a group and whatever all that kind of stuff nice outfit by the way the question i have though in this day and age when it comes to ethics because when it comes to crowds, if maybe there's not a full stadium, could they possibly make it look full? And is that kind of tweaking with reality a little bit? Yeah, well, you know, they'll be able to use this technology, you know, running down the line. So sometimes maybe in the future when fans are back in the stadiums and maybe they have a low attended game, they would have the option if they wanted to, to have some visual FX to make it look like a sellout, to make it seem more important. And I know there's been a lot of questions about when will fans be able to come back to places like Memorial Stadium here in Boise. And this year, Major League Baseball likely not going to happen, almost definitely not. There was news today that even more MLB players were diagnosed with COVID, but if you look at other countries across the world right now, specifically in Japan, for example, they've started very slowly bringing fans back with mega social distance, only having about 30 or 50 percent of the fan base actually in the stadium. So, Brian, for now, for American baseball fans, it's wait and watch. You just basically have to do what I do is play dress up and play baseball in the parking lot behind the stadium. Oh, you're not going to sneak out in that field, are you? I mean, you're not going to leave there without running the bases, right? 
I guess we'll find out at 10. I guess we'll find out. Thanks, Joe.